from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. Hi, welcome into The Horse's Mouth here at Tommy Max, of course, at my bar where you take a seat, have a drink, and get a chance to tell your story. Brought to our good friends at Dasher and Hot Spring Spas of Jacksonville. It's Campos Corner. Once again, Coach Campos here, of course. We're going to talk a little uh, special needs. We're going to talk some investment banking. And one of our authors is back for another visit. So let's get into it. We'll start with Coach Campo. Hey, Coach, how are you? I'm good, Tom. What a diversified panel, love huh, it. my man? That's Don't you? I say this all the time. You've heard me say it, that I love this show because everybody's story is different. And, yep. Uh, I love the the entrepreneurial spirit of the people that come to this uh, no doubt. bar, yep. and it's great sitting here. Well, football is business. Uh, sports is business is life. It's, uh, all, it's like a wedding ring. It just c continues to connect, no absolutely. doubt about it. All right, let's, let's welcome them in. Michelle Trechner is here from the Fire Foundation of Northeast Florida, helping children with special needs. Tell us all about it, please. Yes, we're the Fire Foundation of Northeast Florida, and yeah. we are an, a new nonprofit that just got started last fall, okay. and we're trying to get special needs students into our private and Catholic schools okay. so that they feel welcomed, that they belong, mm -hmm. and that they're a part of society at that school. Because right. there's a bigger picture, because if they're included in school and then high school, then those kids have a familiarity yeah, and no. then they'll work next to, be neighbors to, and be a part of the community. And that's super important for everybody. Absolutely. So. And you have a child with Down I do. Okay. I have a son with Down Syndrome. Down Syndrome. Yep. Okay, He's, great. Um, he was one of the first ones in the state of Florida to graduate fully included from a Catholic school. Okay, so. great. Yeah. Well, I've told you my history with my oldest daughter with some learning disability. And the Catholic yes. school couldn't help her. Right. Why aren't the private schools funded for that? Like, you, you go yeah. to a public school, yes. it's all taken care of for the most yeah. part. Not maybe yeah. not across the board, right. but a lot of good public schools. But why don't the private schools have that funding? That is, a lot of people assume that because they're a private school that they have the money. And a lot of times they don't have the money. Yep. So we're trying to be that bridge to removing that barrier. Yep. Um, we want to help fund the aid the special ed teacher, yeah. um, we're in a really interesting point where we can help bridge everybody to the table so that yep. everybody can be welcome, just like our community should, just like our churches should. Yep. So, yes. Good. Uh, great to have you on. Keep up the great you. work. No doubt about it. Adrian Martinez is here. How are you? CTH good. Advisors, my investment yeah. banker. Yes. You know what's great about investment bankers? You guys don't have to wear ties. <laughs> if you're a banker banker, True. you got to wear a tie, right? Yeah, but when well, you're an yeah, investment you, banker, you no ties. Our, our Monday morning calls. So Tell us people. about CTH, my friend. Please. So CTH is a boutique investment uh, banking firm that was okay. founded a couple years ago um, in Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. And kind of the premise of the CEO, Andy Brussman, was that, you know, there were a lot of people who had kind of left the Northeast and didn't want to live up there because of the cold, sure. the expense, and cost, and move south. So um, he had been one of those individuals and had kind of his own firm, but then looked to expand it with other people that were, you know, in the industry, okay. um, in the area. And, but not everybody is, actually, now. Um, people spread out across the United States. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, so we focus on the middle market. Okay. Um, you know, yep. uh, and uh, do a whole host of both investment banking, traditional investment banking, so capital raising, both private equity and debt. Okay. Uh, but also we have our CEO Whisperer program, which is advisory to okay. businesses to help them, you know, st from a strategic perspective, Can understand VC where they're going. Can VC kind of, it's maybe not there is, there, is some, there is some VC. We've okay. actually uh, formed some relationships with some funds out of London okay. who have early stage investments and they're looking to uh, bring those companies into the U.S. market at some okay. point in time. So from that perspective, we offer advisory. So on CTH, is there a certain <laughs> level of EBITDA that you look for for those middle market or, or no? No, it, it, uh, it varies. I mean, it depends on okay. uh, the industry. I mean, we run everything from uh, media companies, uh, large, you know, $20, yep. $30 million private equity raises to um, small transactions okay. for like landscaping company consolidation. Okay, great. So great. Um, it'll all depend. But uh, generally the middle market's, you know, defined as a, yep. around a million dollars. So okay, great. Around. Great to have you on the show. Thank you me. didn't know I knew EBITDA, did you? I'm a bartender coach. Yeah. 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 You were yeah. so diverse I know a yourself. About, I, I know a lot about a little, well, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Armand Rosamilia is here, our final guest on this segment, our author. You have a brand new book a, coming out. Brand new book. Yeah. Uh, Tell us about it. It's Shakedown is a six-book series called the First Coast Thriller Series. Okay. Set in Jack's Beach and also parts of uh, Jacksonville. Okay. And it's about a, uh, a former cop who had a gambling problem, 
and he's trying to get his life back, his family back, and he works for a repo company. Oh. And they repo <laughs> a cigarette boat, and they find that there's a cartel is, is using the boat, and there's drugs still on the boat. Okay. And the cartel wants their drugs back. Gotcha. What to do, what to do. Give the drugs back or sell them and make a bunch of money <laughs> and hide from the mafia because they're coming. Yeah. Right? How long did it take you to write that book? You you cranked, I mean, what I, is this, I, your 200th book? Yeah, I've got about 200 releases. Oh. I, I usually work on five or six books at the same time. Oh, you wow. really wow. Wow. So oh, I might work either. on two or three different chapters yeah. in, in a given day. Do you ever have your brain analyzed still? That's pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I like to know what I mean. I mean That's pretty yeah. impressive. My wife asks me all the time, yeah. she's like, where do you come up with these crazy ideas? Yeah. yeah. You know. How about uh, how many uh, words a minute? You, you got to be ripping those things out. Like I'm two finger. You're a peck, uh, but I'm very <laughs> fast. I'm yep. very, like you, if you're listening, so funny. you think yeah. like I'm I'm, I'm a yeah. typer. Yeah, but I'm just I just peck. You know, it's funny because I uh, I wrote a book in 08 and I peck too. Now uh, it's been a long time since I pecked, but uh, you can get a good rhythm going. Oh yeah, and next thing you know you're moving. I I, I, could, cool. I guess like like at night if it's dark I yep. I just put my and I actually will type. Yeah. But I'm slower than just looking oh, at my yeah. fingers and tapping. Okay. All right. Can we talk a little football real quick? Anybody? Sure. Uh, watching the draft tonight? I am. So I, I have to say that I'm, okay. a, I'm an Oakland Raiders fan. Okay. Who do you uh, hope they pick? They got number 13. Here's the thing. You know, I just hope they pick somebody good. Okay. I mean, let's yeah, be right. honest. They, they, they've been having some, since I've been a kid, they, yep. they really haven't been the, Up and down. the, the Raiders. So yeah. It's, it's, the uh, old Raiders or something else. Uh, yeah. I'm oh. Marcus Allen, I'm oh, yeah. Plunkett, those, yeah. those are the teams I grew up with. Yeah, no doubt. All right, the Raiders, how about you? Am I, who, do you have a team, or do you like uh, the Jags? Yeah, you no. know, from from birth on, since I was born in Los Angeles, I was a Rams fan. Okay, so, cool. uh, Like the Raiders, you know, followed them around. Yeah, they were LA Raiders for a while. And, oh, yeah. You know, they've, they've had their moments of, uh, you know, brilliance and excellence and, yeah. you know, Super Bowls, but, uh, you know, it's every year, I think it's kind of one of those things. And then, yeah. you know, I spent 14 years in Buffalo, so that was, oh, uh, oh, oh, I yeah. tell people, they ask me, well, did you become a fan I'm like no but I'm a sympathizer I said because yeah. when you live there you realize you know the tragedy <laughs> you know for those people and how yeah. every year hope springs eternal yeah. you know and then yeah. you know things happen but luckily they're a little bit on an upswing and hopefully maybe now they'll yeah. make it but uh, you yeah. fit right here in Jacksonville yeah, Jackson's yeah. Jackson's yeah. Exactly yeah. the same yeah. situation yeah. 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 it's nicer weather down yeah. 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 Michelle how about you are you a football fan at all love Jags okay so whatever Trevor needs you tell me that's what we're talking about coach protect the franchise at all costs absolutely he's my number one one asset, make sure that he is yeah. safe. Yeah. That's why they got to take an offensive lineman, make sure he's I, protected. Okay. I agree. Okay. Get a big guy like Armando. Uh, that's exactly. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for being here. Best of luck. Keep up the great thank work. You. And thank, thank you. you so much. All right, coach. That'll do it. Make sure you check out their great profiles, this conversation, and so many others. So many great conversations. Like coach says all the time, it's a diverse group, and you hear so many awesome stories. What people are doing here in Jacksonville, Northeast Florida, and in the entire area. So until next next time. Stay safe out there and be cool. And we'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. The coach should be going to bed at night thinking about the athlete and how they're going to help that athlete improve. They shouldn't be worrying about how am I going to quantify their improvement or am I going to have to keep up with all this information? Those things that are kind of background to the coach focusing there on the athlete. And so what Dasher does is it takes all those side things away, allowing the coach to focus then on the athlete.